of course, we continue to attach huge importance to, to human rights, uh, to equalities. Uh, think of everything that the UK has helped to achieve the, over the last 20 years, the, the, the sacrifice uh, of, of that mission. Uh, you know, a, a lot of uh, women and girls were educated thanks to the efforts of the, of the UK. Uh, rights, uh, human rights equalities were promoted and protected uh, in a way that Afghanistan hadn't, hadn't seen before. Of course, we don't want to see that uh, thrown away. And what we're trying to do now is to concert uh, the, uh, the rest of the like-minded around the world, of whom there are a great many, to make sure that we don't uh, prematurely, uh, bilaterally uh, recognise a new uh, government in Kabul uh, without uh, forming a common view uh, and setting uh, the same conditions about how that government should behave. I, I can certainly say, uh, Sam, that we've, we've already got uh, a, a large number of Afghan nationals out. We're working very fast on all the, the UK nationals, on all the, the consular uh, cases, and they're, they're coming forward in, uh, in, in, in numbers at the moment. Uh, but I do appeal to, to all those who, who have yet to, to make themselves known uh, to us uh, at the airport to, to come forward. But we certainly have the, the means at the moment to get them out. It's just a question of uh, making sure that uh, they're able to do it over the next few days. I think that the, the teams that we've got on the ground there in, uh, in Kabul Airport and Hamid, Hamid Karzai International Airport are doing an outstanding job in, in pretty difficult circumstances. There's clearly a change of uh, regime now happening uh, in Afghanistan that has implications for the UK presence, for the, the platform that we've had there for some years. Uh, but don't forget, Sam, what all our, all our viewers know, the, the UK presence has been very, very substantially reduced since since 2014. Uh, the numbers uh, of, of UK nationals there are, are, are not uh, enormous. Uh, and of course, the vast bulk of the, of the embassy staff the, and the officials there are already uh, now uh, outside uh, Afghanistan. But what we'll do is we'll keep going uh, with the teams that we have to process as many applications that we have in the time available. I think it's, it's fair to say that the U.S. decision to, uh, to pull out has uh, accelerated things, but this has been many, in many ways something that uh, has been a, you know, a chronicle of, a, of an event foretold. We've, we've known for a long time that this was the way things were going. And as I said before, this is a, uh, a mission whose military uh, component uh, really ended for, for the U.K. in 2014. What we're dealing with now is the... Uh, very likely advent of a new uh, regime in Kabul. Uh, we don't know exactly what kind of a regime that will be. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that we as the, as the UK pull together the, our international partners, our like-minded partners, so that we uh, deal with that uh, regime in a concerted way.